Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Impact segment tonight. As we reported, giant corporations like General Electric and Boeing donated big money to the Clinton Foundation. Both corporations may have emails they will not release about the situation. Now we learn from the Washington Examiner that Chevron may have donated up to a million bucks to the Clinton Foundation while it was lobbying Hillary Clinton's State Department to intervene in a case involving the country of Ecuador. Subsequently, an Ecuadorian court ordered Chevron to pay a whopping $9.5 billion in damages after the court found the company polluted the rainforest there. According to the examiner, Chevron CEO John Watson actually spoke to Hillary Clinton face to face about the situation in 2012. Nevertheless, the Clinton Foundation accepted Chevron's money. With us now, Monica Crowley and Alan Combs, both of Fox News analysts. Bill Combs. Surely, Surely, <laughs> you see that yeah. an acting Secretary of State uh -huh. meeting face to face with the CEO of Chevron discussing a case in a foreign country, a case where billions of dollars have gone against Chevron. And then a $1 million, up to $1 million donation rolls in to Mrs. Clinton's foundation. Surely, you see, that is troubling. Well, it's Bill Clinton's foundation. I'm not sure you can prove a quid pro quo there. Is it troubling? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's troubling. All right, let's start but there. I don't think you can prove <clears throat> a quid I, pro quo. I, look, we can't prove anything on television. So you say it's troubling. Yes. The next step then is I have called for an FBI investigation because the press can't get to the bottom of this because we can't get the emails out of GE or Boeing or Chevron. The right. FBI can. All right? The FBI can look at Mr. Clinton's server and retrieve the deleted messages there. Would you support an FBI investigation? Yes, let them look okay, as much okay. as they can. Then I have gone one step further, yeah. because I look out for all Americans, and said to Hillary Clinton that she herself should call for an FBI investigation yes. to clear her own Absolutely. name. And you support yes. that. All right, you can leave now. <laughs> All right, Paul, did you, All right, can we, uh, but did you not okay, expect okay, my okay, answers okay. to be what they were? Okay, no, I, I didn't, because you, you, you're generally a loon that says, <laughs> that says U.S. Grant did something wait, worse wait, wait. back in 1872. I'll give you direct uh, answers. You did for once in your life, <laughs> and, and your hair isn't messed up for once. <laughs> something's going on. This is my lucky uh, night. Now you. So now the rest of the segment okay. is mine. This now is you. Great. Okay, yeah. now look. Now me. Have you convicted Hillary Clinton in your mind? Have you convicted her of wrongdoing? Well, let me put it this way. We have a known quantity in Hillary and, Bill, Bill and Hillary Clinton for 25 years. There is a pattern of conduct, corruption, lying that we've seen from them over two decades. In this particular case with the Clinton Foundation, what we have is mountains of circumstantial evidence. So when Alan talks about, well, you can't really put a quid, quote, quid pro quo together, that may be true right now, but people get convicted of murder based on circumstantial evidence. Evidence. And the circumstantial evidence now looks pretty damning. All right, but have you, you dodged my question, have you convicted the woman? Well, look, I want, obviously honest want to see answer, more. Honestly, I would have like you to see convicted more. her? I convicted her a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> because so I'm so this, is, this is double jeopardy or triple jeopardy for you. You know, what, you know what would be so fascinating for Hillary Clinton to do what Alan and you are suggesting and say, look, Let's I have nothing that, to hide. That I suggested and Alan agreed and Alan, with her. I knew fine. never in a million that's years right. would Alan Wait, have ever Bill, suggested. I'm agreeing with you. I know, but yeah. she was implying that you suggested that it be... in, in equal terms that, that with me, which is a crazy. <laughs> Did I say you were wrong? That would be totally <laughs> counterintuitive. It would be punk <laughs> rock, and if she has nothing, it would be to punk write, rock. Yes, what she would be mean? rebellious. Oh, okay. She would tell the American people, "I have nothing to hide." Here's Listen, my I am, your I am deadly serious. People think that I'm being sarcastic or something like that. I'm not. Bill and Hillary Clinton should hold a press conference, answer the questions that are lodged, but say, we want an FBI investigation to clear our Here's the thing. I, I wrote my, column, my column last week in the Washington Times suggested that Hillary should go in front of the American people the way Richard Nixon did in 1952 when he was accused of having a political Yeah, but he had a fund. dog. Yeah, Hillary didn't have <laughs> a dog. He had a checker's dog, which, yeah. which she kept. He has to rent a dog to get a dog. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me finish my point. The only reason that that speech worked for Nixon and saved his political career is because he had the truth on his right. side. But Hillary she Clinton's not, not in that words, position. That speaks volumes. Hillary Clinton is not right. in that position. That's right. She That's is still point. a front runner, will get the nomination, so she doesn't we'll have to see. do any of this. And she could get coaching on how to pet a dog. Yeah, well, she could do that. <laughs> All right, so it will be interesting to see what happens, but the FBI absolutely has to get.